My name is Anthony Warman. I'm the Assistant Curator of Military and Political History here at the Royal Alberta Museum. We're here in our, one of our firearms vaults. We have approximately 43,000 artifacts in the Military and Political History collection, of which about 2,000 of those are firearms. So of our firearms collection, we actually have uh, firearms from all classifications, antique, non-restricted, restricted and prohibited. More interestingly, we have firearms here that have specific provenance. Uh, so they tell a specific story or we can use them to tell a specific story. Um, those are of greater value than an as type because we have something we can say about them and uh, use them for exhibition or research in a different way. So here's an example of a uh, Winchester 1876. Um, this firearm is of interest to us because it uh, can tell a story not only of uh, the mounted police in Alberta, uh, but it can also uh, tell a story of the Alberta Provincial Police. It's actually marked by both those police forces, so we have markings on this that are specific to its use. So this is an example of an antique firearm. In Canada, antique firearms are those that are usually made before 1898 and they don't fire cartridges that are um, modern made, common of today. Also, um, ones that are muzzle loaders, so they load from the front end. They're either percussion or a uh, flintlock firearm. So here we are again at the Royal Alberta Museum. We are in another one of the uh, firearms vaults. This one holds uh, our restricted and prohibited firearms. So this is an example of a restricted firearm. Restricted firearms are generally handguns uh, made after 1898, um, and as well as long guns that are deemed to be restricted for reasons of uh, caliber, barrel length, etc. This is an example of a prohibited firearm. Um, generally that is uh, short barreled handguns or handguns that are of a certain caliber, 32 caliber, 25 caliber, those are uh, generally considered um, prohibited. This is a Smith & Wesson uh, model 1913. Um, this particular one is interesting because it was actually used by the Alberta Provincial Police. Uh, this is the one that was used by their plain closed officers or undercover officers and uh, just like the Winchester that was seen before it actually does have the APP markings on it. As well, any other thing deemed to be um, prohibited this is an example of another prohibited firearm. This is a pen gun. Um, so this particular one is, is prohibited. So within this, within this vault, we have a, a number of um, non-restricted firearms as well because of their value or because of um, story that's connected to them. This um, particular item, it doesn't look like very much. It's actually a single shot Kui 22. Um, it's held together um, around the barrel um, with electrical tape. It's uh, got rusted, uh, the stock is fairly beat up. Um, but this particular item was used by a woman uh, on her trap line. She had a grizzly bear stand up in front of her on her trap line and she actually um, shot and killed that grizzly bear um, with this little right, single shot rifle. Um, and at a time it was one of the largest grizzly bears ever shot in Canada.